Um, on to the speeches. First up, Ellie's dad. Um, I... <laughs> Ellie's dad, I, I unfortunately don't know too well, um, and I asked Ellie for a few words on how to introduce Ellie's dad, and she, um, she said he, he was actually the only published author amongst all of us. Um, the book happened to be entitled How I Converted on an LSD Trip. to some words of wisdom um, based on the fact he'd been married three times so um, <laughs> uh, over to Ellie's dad <laughs> well have we got the mic on I, I am David Ellie's dad and the David yeah. <laughs> and of course the first I've been told I've got to speak for three minutes now I got my pr speech sorted out and it only was going to last one and a half hours. But I will spare that on you and make it last just the three minutes. Uh, Adam's very concerned about that. Now, first of all, to welcome all the guests, in particular, Adam's mum and dad. Uh, without the mum and dad, this couldn't have been possible. And I want to say also compliment how I thought the wedding speech, the guy that's speaking the ceremony, was spot on. It, he couldn't have done that better. And... Uh, when you later on you'll realize that um, the installation that is planned for this afternoon it will complement what the preacher said today now I need to say just one or two things about Ellie now I thought Ellie was absolutely beautiful today with her dress and the flow and uh, it makes a change from a miniskirt which was the size of, a, of, a, of a, a very thin belt and Adam he looked wonderful and all these five just men or six just men however many they were um, I thought it was great. I want, to say, I want to say one or two things about Ellie. Ellie, as you know, cannot stand still. Are you aware of that? Even in the womb, she kicked and kicked and kicked, and even her mother today thinks that Ellie was trying on shoes in the womb. That's how she is. Those of you, you that know Ellie, she loves her shoes. And she can't stand still. When we were living in Snail Beach, she escaped. She was two years old. She is a twin. Her brother is David. And she escaped and decided to go for a walk on the moon. And she went through the village along the back track in the hills of Shropshire near the, the, the mine. And uh, she gone. The whole village was out looking for her because she was lost at two years old. That's one thing about Ellie. She is on the move. She's always moving around. Another thing about Ellie is that she always stand up for you, right? She stands up for her brother David, right? They're peas in a pod, they're twins of course. And I'll just relate a couple of incidents at a school. David was called by names at school, some, something or other, I don't know what it was. But uh, called, he was gay, David, you know. <laughs> and uh, she decided, was it that occasion or another occasion? Well, she decided prefect that nutted David at been about 13 or 14 years old David wasn't going to have any he wasn't going to have any of this so she jumped on this prefect a big orgy jumped on his head and started beating him about the head of course her mum was called up to the school to sort the problem out but that's not all Ellie is not all, not only does she defend her friends but she actually don't cross her Adam will be warned listen when she was upset once at school, she decided she was going to take revenge. She went into the girls' toilets and took all the toilet paper, put it in the sink. Can I get this mic right, please? Put all the toilet paper in the sink, in the girls' turned the taps on, so they all flooded. Not just one toilet, but three toilets. Girls' toilets. And she walked from the girls' toilets across the road to the boys' toilets. And on the way, meeting the headmistress, hello, Miss Bissett, Miss, Miss Bullhead. And she walked across into the boys' toilets and flooded all the toilets. Now, Ellie, Ellie did that because she was uptight and wound up. So don't upset her because she's likely to flood your toilet. Uh, look, I've spoken for three minutes now. I have got lots to say. If you... <laughs> 
No, I've actually got lots to say. No, no. Adam, he would never forgive me if I carry on. I've got, I've got one, one more thing to say about Adam and Ellie. Ellie and Adam do like to have fun, but the trouble is that on me. One day, he was back, you know, I didn't know Adam was a twin, by the way. Now, Adam came to my house, our house, and, uh, and, and, and his brother came to the house, but he didn't know that Adam had a twin. And Ellie and Adam sat their brother, Mark, opposite me at the table, and I thought this was Adam. So I carried on talking to him as though it was Adam, and of course, it carried on. You know, that's, that's the way it goes. They conned me, and I thought it was Adam. But I have got the laugh, last laugh today, because I spoke to Mark, I said, look, let's get Ellie back, and actually Mark stood in the place of Adam today, and when Ellie, Ellie said, I do, she was saying, I do, to Mark, so that's it. <laughs> anyway, that's the end. Ellie doesn't know this yet, she'll find out, but at the end of the speech, we, we raise a toast to Ellie and, our, and all the friends and the family. And may I wish you all the very ble best of God's blessings in all your lives, in everything. Okay. Toast. Toast.